Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Predatory Exotics. So we have an interesting video uh, for you today. I'm gonna be setting up a trio Pac-Man frog enclosure. Now this doesn't mean that they're gonna be housed together, but they are gonna be in the same tank. I'll show you what I mean. So we've currently got one of our Pac-Man frog in this enclosure right here. And we've got two more that we went out and purchased today. We're gonna to be putting all three in this enclosure here. This is a 90 long, um, which means it's got plenty of space. But kind of the plan is we're going to use this massive sheet of cork bark that we've got here, cut it to size, obviously, and this will be the divider in between each of the three frogs. So, of course, these aren't really jumping frogs, so we'll make it high enough so they have no intention to go into the other enclosures. And we'll also put some foliage kind of on top as well as just a bit of a decoration. Uh, but we're going to be putting the dividers in and separating it into three sections. So each one will have 30 centimeters uh, wide and 45 centimeters deep, which is plenty of space uh, for adult Pac-Mans as well. Normally you do about 45 long, uh, 45 wide, but because it's so deep, uh, it will be plenty of space for them. We're going to think it looks super cool, all being in one tank, being the Pac-Man tank. Um, but I'm going to kind of run you through how I'm going to do this. Uh, cameraman sneezing uh, behind. Um, but first of all, uh, we're going to go and we're going to cut down this board to size. So a lot of measurements and sawing uh, coming up. And we'll be back once this is done. As you can see guys, we have, sorry I'm sweating out here, it is so hot, it is still like, what, high 20s right now and it's and flying ants everywhere. Uh, but we've cut it into three pieces. As you can see, these are what's gonna um, divide them. I only needed two, obviously, because there's three sections, uh, but I'm gonna use uh, one as kind of like a fill a gap. <sighs> sorry, flying ants everywhere. Um, but we're going to get ready and set up the actual soil, uh, all of the drainage layer, the mesh, everything like that. And we'll, uh, we'll click back when that is done. Everyone out here is getting bit right now, so we'll see you in a minute. And go and make sure you wash your balls. <sighs> All right, soil time. So, <clears throat> this is what it is currently looking like. I think it looks pretty sweet. You've got uh, three different planted plants now at the back. I'm going to add in a few more details, and then we've got the three water bottles at the front as well. But this is what each one will look like, and this is kind of what the tank looks like from a distance. It looks really good, in my opinion. Uh, I, think it, I think it worked out pretty well. Of course, we've cut the cork box, so it's dividing. And then you've got three, uh, three even tanks. So what I'm going to do is just decorate it a bit more, uh, add some carpet moss and uh, leaves and, and stuff like that, the isopods and, and all that, and then give it a spray. Now uh, we've got everything down here. And then uh, I'll be putting all three of them in their, their new homes. Um, I think it looks pretty cool and uh, definitely worked out better than I thought in my head. Not going to lie, but I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. And uh, yeah, we'll start getting on with the rest of the stuff that's going in there. And uh, I'll show you guys uh, the end result and us putting them in as well so so it's time to actually put the frogs in here so we're gonna do our uh, original one in the right hand side then the strawberry in the middle and then the albino uh, on the other side so this guy's quite used to used to me at this point come on buddy I know I know into your new home and now time for the albino, uh, for the strawberry Pac-Man, uh, which is going into our middle one. I 
Hey, bud. There we go. Obviously not as used to handling as our other one, which we've had for a while, uh, which uh, can show. But as you can see, what a cool colour. There we go. <laughs> Let him go over there. And, uh... Next up are our Bino one. Very cool, vibrant yellow, as you can see who will be going into this one at the end. Also not used to being handled. No, come on. Also not used to being handled, but that's fine. He's in and he's in his water bowl. So guys, uh, I'm going to be installing uh, the old misting uh, tube into one of these ones. Basically, we're going to have three misting uh, connections in here, one in each tank. Uh, I've ordered the other ones, so they're arriving later this week. So today I'm doing that one, and uh, I'll switch quickly to when the other ones arrive, and I do those bits as well. All right, guys, so update. We have uh, installed one of the nozzles. The other nozzles are arriving. They're arriving later this week, so I'll install them then. But now we've got uh, some extra foliage decoration to decorate the cork bark, and now we've got a backdrop as well, so it's just not... We can't see through it. It'll just be a nice backdrop. I went with a forest one. I think it's pretty nice, and uh, I'll show you guys once it's all uh, stuck on and uh, installed. So minus the uh, additional sprays, and uh, I haven't installed a heat mat just because it's so hot in the UK right now, so I've not needed to. But this is the final result. Um, as you can see, it is a l awesome enclosure. I think it's so cool. So we've got one. Oh, just hit the camera. One guy there. We've got one guy in his water here. And then we've got one guy who's buried down there. And this is what it looks like from far. I know the camera. Let me see if I can uh, adjust the uh, brightness so it's not picking up the light as much and so this is enclosure number one with our albino this is enclosure no enclosure number two with our strawberry pac-man and then enclosure number three with the original lime green pac-man uh so yeah just adding the nozzles um but i think it's turned out really cool like we've got these kind of like wood divides with kind of like each one looks slightly different, but you can tell that these are three Pac-Man frog enclosures. And I think this is a lovely addition to our to our racking right now. So guys, just a reminder, uh, keep and make sure that your tubes are connected properly because I don't know if you guys can see if I can get the camera. We, we had a leak. We had a leak this morning with the misting system. We've dried it all up now. That's just like the actual like leftover wetness, which will dry over the next few days, but yeah, make sure make sure all your tubes are connected because thankfully it was only this one shelf that got wet. Uh, it was that connector back there, which is one of the new ones on the frogs. Uh, one of the tubes was loose and it was leaking, but I've made sure that all of them are connected and I've run the system as well and there's no more leaks. But yeah, sometimes things like this happen. Uh, so just make sure and double check all your tubing because uh, so nothing like this happens to you guys. And there you go, three Pac-Man enclosures in one tank, um, which I don't know if anyone else has done before. I, I don't know. Uh, I'd have to have a look and see if any, anyone else has done it and how they did it. But this is how we've done it here at Predator Exotics. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, give hope it give you some ideas maybe of what you're able to do if you have a spare like 90 lying around. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to us here so you see more updates on these guys on how they're doing. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram where we post daily pictures and videos of all of our animals in our collection. So I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. What you disinfect? Where was that? These are from that one I bought yesterday. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Could you just hold that side up? What are you cutting those? Uh so I can have it two-sided.